G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to try something a little bit different today because I have been watching people using alcohol inks on uh, like Yupo paper, things like that. I don't have any Yupo paper, but I do have lots of canvases. So I put my push pins in and last night I had a little play with some alcohol inks on a canvas. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is my very first turn. I was just playing around seeing what alcohol inks did. And um, because it's on a canvas, and a canvas, and even though it's been gessoed, it, it's still quite porous. Um, and I used a lot of alcohol because um, it kind of sunk into the fabric. So then I thought, well, what about if I coat this one with something? The only thing I really had was um, like a pouring medium or a gloss varnish, something like that. And I thought, well, anything really should work, cross fingers, just to basically give it a, a, a seal so that the alcohol and ink didn't seep in. So I thought, well, what about if I gave it a coat of polycrylic? So I've done that. I just brushed it on with this foam brush and I did the sides as well. So that was last night. So it's nice and dry. So I am hoping that um, maybe my inks will kind of stay on here a little bit more. But I really like those colours. Aren't they pretty? So what I've done is, um, and I was watching Miriam's Nature. Hi, Miriam. Miriam with a Y, as she says. <laughs> She's probably not watching my videos. Um, she mixed alcohol with a little bit of ink. And I have used this one, it's nearly out. Um, this is my, it's 100% isopropanol, isopropyl. And that's what I've got in there. That's just plain isopropyl alcohol in that. So in my little squeezy bottles here, I put in, except for the gold, these ones I put in half an ounce or 15 grams of alcohol. And then I did um, 20 drops, 15 to 20 drops of pinata alcohol ink. That one's the magenta looks very fluoro in there doesn't it but I think it'll dry better so that's that one uh, that one is passion purple and then I've got teal and sapphire blue I initially did the same with the gold but well this is actually brass but um, I found that I needed a heap more ink so I had to. I gave it a, a good few squirts. These bottles I bought from um, Alibaba, not Alibaba, Amazon. Look, I've got a big bottle of, big bag of them. They came just like that, and then it came with a a lid, and then uh, where's the other bits? And then it came with this as well. So you got to put that into there. So I used this little funnel that I bought ages ago to put that into there. Then I poured my alcohol in there and dripped my ink in. And then I got the little top bit, pushed that on and broke that off. And then I've got my lid. Because when they came, I thought, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, where's the dropper? So it took me a little while to work out that, yep, yeah, that's what I did. So that's what I did. Amazon, got a big bag of them need all that many but um, yeah I didn't need as much alcohol for the gold the brass so I had to tip some out and then add some more brass probably half the amount mm, no, they're probably equal amounts actually they're probably equal amounts alcohol to um, ink I would say with the metallic anyway let's get started that's enough chit chatting from me showed you what I've done I am in no way an expert at this all right I'm just gonna you're going to come along for the ride and, and see how I go today. So instead of doing like a florally one, I thought what I might try, and I've seen other people do this, they put a blob of colour in the centre um, and then they put alcohol ink and they blow it out like that from the middle out to get like this more of a geometric sort of a folded fabric kind of a pattern. So I'm going to have a go at that. Never, ever done it before, so you're going to watch me muddle through. I'm going to use this um, embossing tool. 
to blow. Um, I don't have an air gun, air brush, I think it's called air brush. But um, maybe if I enjoy working with alcohol inks, maybe I can invest in one. I better put some gloves on, shouldn't I? Because ink stains. So I'm just going to use that for today. And um, see if I can create something pretty. Give these all a good shake. Um, don't know if I need all the colours. Let's just start. Is that going to, I don't even know if it's going to sink in or not. Whether this um, is going to make much difference. Actually, I don't know that this, see I've diluted my colours so I don't know if other people have diluted theirs when they've done this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We shall see. Hey, okay? if it doesn't work, <laughs> I'll just go back to um, making more of a flowery kind of a pattern like that. Let's, let's put a little bit of bronze here and there because I do like the bronze. All right. <clears throat> now I should put these over here out of the way so I don't knock them over. Now, um, I'm going to put down some alcohol. And I'm just going to blow this. It's not really doing much, is it? Oh. Um, come to think of it, I think when people did that they did undiluted alcohol I think I'm just going to go back to doing the other sort that I did okay like this I'm just going to do this I'm going to put a bit of gold in there I'll put a bit of alcohol around it I'm just going to make some pretty patterns trying not to get like an edge so come back with the color just want like a blended look there really have no idea what I'm doing I'm thinking maybe I need to add the bronze afterwards Don't laugh at me, okay? <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make some pretty patterns. I think the um, ink is still soaking into the canvas. Probably a little bit more than I was hoping for. I probably needed to do maybe um, two coats. Two coats of the polycrylic maybe. It's going to dry this bit off a bit here. drying that off a bit. I might add the gold afterwards. The bronze. I keep calling it gold. It's bronze. So I'm just putting some alcohol in front of it so that it can, it's got somewhere to run to. And then when I'm happy with my little design, I'll kind of dry it off a little bit so it doesn't keep running. Let's put some gold over that. And a little bit of alcohol. I do like the metallics. I think they look really pretty. 
I don't like those little fingerlings though. The, the fingerlings you can sort of blow over the top of and try and get rid of them a little bit more. So it should be a really pretty pastel-y, I'm hoping it'll be a pretty pastel-y colour. Let's go with some um, teal up here and then alcohol around it. I do use a lot of alcohol. If you're trying to so I'm just blowing the edges, trying to spread it, but not get the alcohol like to grab onto the canvas. I just want the edges to be kind of watery, blended on the edges. And push that in there a little bit. She wouldn't mind that going over the edge there a little bit. I may speed some of this up a bit. How's it looking so far? With this one, you can see the difference. This one was the untreated canvas. The colours are much brighter and they've really soaked into the canvas. This one's much more um, ethereal, sort of pastel-y looking. So really pretty. All right, um, let's add some more color. Let's go with some pink down here. Seems the pink wants to go over there. I'm gonna put some alcohol around it so the pink's got somewhere to flow to and not grab onto the canvas. Put a bit of gold through there, or brass. And blow it into the alcohol. And go over the edge a bit. Don't want to get too close because I don't want those little fingerling things happening. You see that one there? See how it's running away? It's becoming a little fingerling. I think if you get too close, that happens. Put a bit more gold through there. Spread that gold a little bit. I like how the gold has that sort of longer, that line there that looks really pretty. Now that blob of purple doesn't need to be there. We'll do something with that. Maybe put a little bit of blue next to it. And a bit of gold. I'll blow the edges back the other way. I'm going to keep that little bit of blue just there. So just trying to dry this off a bit now. So keeping the edges there, just drying them off a little bit. I like that. I like how the brass colour is hugging the side there. don't necessarily like that blob there, so I'll have to get rid of that one. Put that there. Put a bit of alcohol around it and see if I can get rid of that little blob just there. Disguise it a little bit. So it, it is grabbing the canvas. But I've, I've kind of disguised it there a little bit. <gasps> I'm liking that. Takes a while though, doesn't it? My gosh, it does take a while. All right, let's do some pink up here. Like so. And of course the gold or brass. Alcohol around it, so it's got somewhere to run to. And blow it out, back in, this side in, out. Just trying to keep the edges from grabbing too much. I want them to be nice and gentle looking along the edges. I 
it just blended pretty. And then when you're happy with your design, then you can just go straight from up high and just sort of dry that off. Oops, try not to get the little fingerlings happening. If you get too close, they happen. Just got to be careful of that. Alrighty, I'm going to put a bit more gold through there, just following what's already there, just kind of on top. Blow that off the edge. Alrighty. How am I going? Am I getting the hang of it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm liking that. Um, I don't like that bit of gold just there. I will go over that. I don't like that. Put a bit more pink on it. And a little bit more gold. Maybe going just up that side. A bit of alcohol around it. Happy with that side, also we'll just blow the opposite way. And back in, back out, back in. The gold, the brass, I should say. I like adding that afterwards, I think. It tends to stick better. And you get that pretty line there. One drop of purple there just to cover up that little blob there that I made a mistake on. Look, I don't think there's any right or wrong on this. I think just have fun. Um, yeah, just try not to get the fingerlings. Trying to get the blended exterior there. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going for, really. That's all I can hope for. This canvas got a little bit dirty when I turned it upside down to hammer the um, push pins in, so I'll just have to make sure I cover that. I'll probably leave a little bit of white, um, but I have got these little marks here. Never mind. All right, are you still with me? You're not getting too bored? Let's do some teal up here. We'll cover that area there. And I think I'll do the gold afterwards, hey? That seems to work better. Put some alcohol around the edges so that it, they blend better. I'm sure I'll get better with this as I go along, you guys. Look at that, look at that. That's really pretty, that blending there, isn't it? That's really pretty. I'll go over the edge a little bit. All right, let's do the gold. Put a little bit of gold through that. And as I as I go, I'll learn that maybe I don't need quite so much alcohol. I can just put the gold on afterwards. I don't have to add any more alcohol to it. Let's dry that off. All right, that covered that little area there. Oh, it's looking really pretty. Okay, so now I've got some blue there. Let's do some blue up here. Um, and then I probably don't need terribly much more. Do the blue, put the alcohol around it. Blow the edges in, blow the edges out to blend them. So that they don't grab. Obviously, if you're using UPO paper or something like that, you know, you won't need to do this as much, I don't think. I, I've never used UPO paper before. Put a bit of purple in with that blue. 
and blend the two together I think. Teal over there. Takes quite a bit of concentration, I must say. teal in the corner to go over the edge there I think. A little bit more of the grass heading up towards the edge there. Blowing from the outside in. And I'll just push this bit of purple over the edge here. I was planning on doing at the beginning. Now we've got a bit of a blob there. I need to try and fix that blob and this gold seems to be a little bit too outlined. I might have put a bit much on it there. Let's put a little bit of pink there. We'll go around it with the alcohol and then blow the pink back that way a little bit just to see if we can break that up a bit. And back because I had that little blob there that I didn't like. Be really careful with your blobs and your fingerlings. Once they dry, then they're, they're there. For good. There's a little fingerling there. I'm going to see if I can just fix this bit of gold just here, or brass. Just put a little bit more of the teal on it, just to kind of disguise it. There's no reason why you can't do your layers. I think it helps with that sort of 3D look if you do layers. And that just hid that bit of gold there that I didn't like. I'm just bringing that in a bit. Whoops, there's a fingerling happening. You guys let me know if this is something that you're enjoying or whether it's just boring, I don't know. I'm enjoying it, but you guys might not be. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, um, 
might just do a little bit more blue through here just like that and some alcohol around it and then that should probably be enough I think let's get that blue to go over the edge just a little bit get a little bald spot whoops the fingerling that's running away I don't think I'm doing a very good job, you guys, but hey, I'm learning, I'm learning. There's a big blob of pink in the middle there. Just put some alcohol on it and see if I can just dilute that maybe rather than adding any more colour to it. Just sort of push it a little bit rather than adding any more colour. There we go, that worked. Now, a little bit of gold out here towards where the blue is and out here towards the pink. Whoops, drop some. And blow that around a little bit. and blend the edges of the pink there ever so slightly. I'm trying to add a little bit more colour, a little bit more depth of colour there with the pink. Alrighty. What do we think? You probably all, I've lost you all by now, haven't I? Mm, I'm going to add just a touch of gold or brass through here and then I think I'm done. I just like that little bit of gold through here and dry it off. It's a bit thick there the gold. It could go on forever couldn't you? You really could. You've got to know when to stop I guess. I'm learning as I'm going, I'm blowing from the sides so that I don't get, or try not to get that grabbing colour um, like on these. See how it's grabbed the edges? So more sort of, I mean of course there's a bit of a, an edge there but it's more of a blended, or most of them they're blended. But I think that's not bad for my first attempt. Hey, all right. Uh, let me get you down. Actually, I'll just see if I can hold it in a way that I can show you the, the shimmer. Put it on autofocus if I can. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's the gold. It's hard to see when it's flat. But there's the gold. Or brass. It's, it's brass, but look, I'm going to call it gold. <laughs> That looks like gold. What do you think? Is it okay for my first attempt? I would like to try the other one where you put the colour in the middle and then you blow it out. But I, I think they're um, pure alcohol inks. I don't think they're mixed with any alcohol with those ones. So I'll have a try at that next. 
but it's fun you know I just wanted to try something new let me know what you think whether or not you like it whether or not you want to see any more <laughs> if I should keep practicing it's like anything you have to keep practicing all right thanks for watching you guys hope you've enjoyed it hope I didn't bore you too much all right thanks thanks for watching see you again bye for now